inside right now, and this is where we were having uh, a pretty major leak. School buildings are rarely perfect. You can kind of see how it's, you know, ruined the windowsill. For charter schools, the renting them adds up. We're upwards of a million, a million dollars uh, per year, and, and next year will be even more. So yeah, we, we, we know very well. Jay Cerny runs Vanguard Classical School. It's a charter within Aurora Public Schools that has a problem many other charters face. You just can't go anywhere. And when you have a surplus building, it's so much easier to take that over as a school, as, as a charter school. Buying Paris Elementary was his solution. Like more than a dozen other schools across the metro, it does not have enough students to stay open past this year. As districts close under-enrolled schools, they must figure out what to do with the empty buildings. We want to keep this school in APS, and we feel that we're the perfect partner, we're the perfect, perfect match for it. But what makes a perfect match depends on who you ask. Aurora administrators say community members prefer affordable housing to helping out a charter school. The district wants to sell the land to a developer for $13 million double Vanguard's offer. This is the perfect location for us. So obviously that was very challenging for us to hear that. The developer's plans call for retail, income restricted units and supportive housing for people experiencing homelessness. If the school board agrees, it'll send Vanguard back to the drawing board. Well, we will um, scratch our head and we will get back to, to work. Uh, we need a, a suitable location for our students. The school board is scheduled to vote tomorrow and Vanguard hopes they'll go against the district's recommendation and sell to, to, to sell to the developer and instead sell to them. All right, Cole, this is something that we've we've talked about or at least kind of speculated about for months now, whether it's Jeffco or, or Denver or anywhere else where there's such a need for housing and all of a sudden these big old properties come up. Exactly. Big old properties come up that are school buildings that you could make into housing or charter schools who say we want those properties to stay as mm -hmm. schools too. The debate continues. All right, we'll keep following that one. Thank you, Cole.